Good afternoon, I'm Casey Johnston with The Rig News. An Edmonton man has been charged with first and second degree murder after a stabbing incident that left two people dead. The two victims have been identified as 37-year-old man from La Crete and a 50-year-old woman from Red Day. That incident took place last Tuesday at a work camp 50 kilometers away from Fox Creek. In addition to murder charges, 28-year-old Daniel Goodridge has been charged with interfering with human remains and three counts of assault with a weapon. He's expected to appear in court in Fox Creek on July 27th. Loleen Conan and her family were stargazing in the early morning hours on Saturday outside of their Valley View home when her 11-year-old daughter Katie was attacked by an animal they believe is a coyote. Condon says she had just stepped inside when the incident happened. I heard my daughter Zoe screaming, Mom, it's attacking Katie! It's attacking Katie! Condon says her daughter is recovering while well physically but is struggling emotionally after such a scary incident. Alberta Fish and Wildlife are investigating the incident. And the white coat relay for life over the weekend exceeded expectations in every way, raising over $102,000, flying past their original goal of $75,000. Kristen Berry with the Canadian Cancer Society says the money raised will make a huge impact in the lives of those affected by the disease. We have support programs and services. Berry added that the new time from noon to midnight rather than midnight to noon was really well received and supported. That's news for your local news anytime you can log on to our website at therig.ca. I'm Casey Johnston. And uh, what is the latest going on with all this funky fire stuff going down? So this is the first time I, I was speaking with a wildfire information officer, Shannon Stamball, and she is actually saying that, you know, we have some fire restrictions going on in the White Coat wildfire management area. Just if you're camping or living or recreating or working... Just outside of Swan Hills, you might want to take a look at albertafirebands.ca because you are probably affected by these fire restrictions. And I heard that you can't use things like um, turkey fryers, charcoal briquettes. Absolutely. The, and you cannot have any random campfires. So unless you're in a designated campground, having a fire in a fire pit or mm-hmm. a fire receptacle, that is the only fire you're allowed to have. She was telling me how explosive the conditions are right now. If the, a fire starts right now in these conditions, it is going to explode into a wildfire. There's no smoldering. There's no catching it early. It is just bad. So you definitely want to be careful out there. And also to remind people that if you're using off-highway vehicles, to be extra diligent in removing dry grass. Yeah, she was saying uh, the conditions right now are caused from really high temperatures and really low moisture in the environment. So not a lot of rain expected for the next couple of weeks. Beautiful weather, just not great for fire hazards.